What's going on everybody? I am your host Cameron and today I am going to be making a tutorial on how to add a hover mechanic to your camera bar toggle thingy. Instead of clicking on it to open the camera, all you gotta do is hover your mouse over it and it opens the camera that way. Uh, now people have been asking for this tutorial since the video actually came out, like since uh, part 5 of my tutorial series came out. Uh, which basically all I did in that tutorial was I clicked uh, a camera button and it opened the camera But in this tutorial, I'm gonna make it so that you have to hover over the bar to open it And then the camera will open so technically it's a part two to that video in a way, but technically it's not um, I know I did say I was gonna do a true Scott Cawthon uh, AI tutorial so basically how Scott Cawthon did his AI uh, but I decided to not do that for now because for one I need a little break from the AIs because I've been doing that for four videos straight and also because it is a little more complex than I thought and I don't want to butcher the way Scott did it so I'm just trying to study it and whatever trying to make sure that it's good for the tutorial uh, now in today's tutorial obviously we're gonna do the hover bar mechanic um, and we might as well get to it so we're gonna just jump over to my night one and what I want to do first is for this hover mechanic to really work, I'm gonna just move my camera bar here, just kinda down to the bottom of my canvas, so roughly like right here. So if I load up the uh, frame, um, I just move that and I go ultimate full screen it, I can just, it's, it's down here now, which will be very useful for the uh, camera bar tutorial. So as you can see right now, we can click on it and it opens the camera, but we wanna add a hover. So, I'm gonna go back, and I think we're only gonna insert one thing. We're only gonna insert one thing, which will help us a lot. So we're gonna go over, insert counter, and we are going to call this hover buffer. So this will be a buffer for when we hover over it, obviously. So we're gonna go into event editor, and we are going to insert a group of, group of events, and we're gonna call this camera hover animation so basically it's almost like a play on the one of the camera animation we did in part 5 but in part 5a which is this tutorial it's gonna be the other way around basically so we're gonna go over to new condition we're gonna go to store controls start a frame and we're gonna go over to our camera animation uh, right click animation stop right click visibility invisible so we have that it's visible now and we also want to go over to our uh where is it our hover buffer oh i made two accidentally well, i don't know how i made two um where is it sorry guys this i yeah get rid of that real quick you don't have to do this i, I just messed something up real quick um i don't know why it's called hover buffer two okay anyway so go over to your hover buffer and go right click set counter to zero so Automatically at the start of the thing you set it to zero which means it will not stop it Anyway after you have that done go over to new condition go over to the mouse pointer keyboard the mouse Check for mouse pointer over an object and we're going to say our camera toggle And we're gonna go right click insert special conditions limit conditions only one action one event loops Then we're gonna go right click insert Camera animation trigger, compare the counter to your value, zero. And then we're gonna go right click, insert, go over to your uh, hover buffer, compare the counter to your value, zero. And once you have this done, go over to your uh, hover buffer, right click, set counter to one. And then go back over here. And we wanna go over to the timer, go right click, fire vent after given delay. We'll say 300 of a second. And from here, we want to name this to exactly what the code from part five was. So if we go up here, right, um, from one of my earliest tutorials where the camera animation trigger is, or the camera animation is, as you can see, the the event for when the camera is up is camera is called camera animation up. So I'm just gonna go into it and then copy that and just bring it down here so that way we don't have to code it in. But of course, if you didn't follow that tutorial, um, what you can do is you can just do kind of do whatever this is, but kind of just do it down here. So in this case, go over to the timer, fire event after given delay, 300 of a second, and this will be camera animation 
up with that which is for me um and then the other one for when it's going down is camera animation down but you can call it whatever you want you just have to make sure that it's one case sensitive and two that is actually correct so pretty much that so when you hover over this now fire event animation up is going to play so we're going to go over run frame and as you can see it goes up which is great but now we can't go down so we are going to add that in very quick so what i want to do here is i'm actually going to go over and i'm going to copy this and then paste this but i'm going to go over to the camera animation trigger equals zero and this one double click it and change it to one so then i'm after that we're going to go over to the timer we're going to go instead of fire event camera animation up we're going to go right click edit and this is going to be the event for when your camera animation is going down which for me is called camera animation down which if you're following along with me exactly then it should be the same thing for you as well so now it's going to go up and down when we hover but there's an issue with this if you go into it and you run the frame this little thing is going to happen so basically as you can see uh oh it's not doing it what hold on did i mess something up uh, 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 oh, that's why. Okay. So, as you can see, it didn't work because the hover buffer is set to one, and um, the hover buffer is set to one. And obviously, in order to actually hover over the bar and make it work, it needs to be set to zero. But if you were to get rid of these and you were to do this, there's a big issue with this. And as you can see, it does this. So, the animation is not working correctly because technically it is but it's just going so fast that it, it, it can't just stop like you can just even if you lightly graze and you go it up it's gonna go as fast as possible because there's really nothing stopping but that's besides the point after you have this go over to new condition go over to the um the mouse pointer and keyboard the mouse user uh check for mouse pointer over an object and this will be our camera bar and when our camera bar is like this go over to um go over to hover buffer set the counter to one but if we go over here we copy and paste this but instead negate the duplicate we're going to go over and go over to set counter to zero so this should work let's see about this it'll be set to zero um and as you can see it works just as fine so this should work now and it works the hover buff the hover mechanic works and yeah it's pretty much it we got we got the we got the hover bar to work so you can just go up and down really fast do the thing whatever um and really if you want to if you want to make it go invisible when the camera's up we want to go over to where it says mouse pointer is over the camera toggle and we want to go to the camera toggle go right click visibility invisible make object invisible and then just drag this down to these three so drag it down to the mouse pointers over the camera toggle while the camera animation is both one and zero and then make sure that when you're actually hovering over it that it goes invisible but to make sure this stays invisible when you're hovering over it hovering over it I, that's anyway go over to where it says mouse pointer is over the camera toggle and go right click insert hover buffer compare the constant value when it is set to one uh and then once you have that done now if you flip it up it's going to go invisible but obviously we need it to reappear which to make it reappear all we got to do is just go down to this um negated code where it says music music mouse pointer is not over the camera's toggle and we'll go right click visibility reappear and then it should work so i'm going to go full screen it and then as you can see it disappears and if i keep hovering over it it stays gone um and yeah that that's pretty much it for the tutorial so we got the tutorial done and if you're happy with this and you actually want to get rid of the whole click feature um what we would do at that point is just go up to your camera animation and we want to take these we want to take all of these with us to take down to the code so what we want to do is we want to take on timer event camera animation up we want to take you remember hold control to and click all of these to copy this um so i want to take with me on time event camera animation up on time event camera animation down 
uh, animation cam up is over, animation cam down is over, and animation trigger is equal to zero. And then right click, uh, we wanna copy all of this and then take this down to the newly hover code. Uh, and then just paste it and uh, if that's if that works then just go up and then you can just delete the old camera animation and then it should work now so if we try this out we go full screen it should now work and as you can see it works perfectly fine and uh, yeah if you're happy with this let me know uh, if you want me to do more tutorials kind of like this where it's it's more just improvements of older code let me know and uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry this took so long. Sorry I stuttered a lot in this video. To be honest, I was not well prepared for it. Um, and I promise, next video, I'll, I want to get it out sooner, especially since this one's like only like 10 or 11 minutes. Uh, I don't know what we're doing next. I'm probably not doing the Scott AI thing next. A lot of people have been asking for the mask, but I'm probably not doing mask since that's really easy to do. And, uh, and, and anybody can really do it. It's if you want to do the mask just go over follow the door tutorial and just replace the door button with a mask toggle and then replace the door animation with the mask animation and nothing will be different but then again viewership hits different and i like getting money so i might do it uh but anyway thank you guys so much for watching and uh see you guys in the next video